You have an overly pronounced lordosis. How do we address this issue? Well, we ask the community and it is of interest. Lordosis, hyperlordosis, never heard of it. You can explain it. Liebschebracht. And I will explain to you exactly what it is and how you can get rid of it. We will take a quick look at this. This is the curve in the lumbar spine. This is somewhat normal here in the skeleton, but imagine if it would bend further in here. And why does it arch further in? Because the hip flexor pulls here. So a part of the hip flexor which pulls it further and further forward. And there is another muscle that practically tilts the pelvis downwards. And this is the same as it becomes more pronounced. We must now make longer the muscles and fascia that pull inward so they pull less. And what pulls outward needs to be strengthened and normalized, and that's what we are going to do now. And why is this so important? Of course, it is also about the appearance. But there is something much worse. You will get back pain or disc herniations. Spinal canal stenosis, spondylolisthesis, facet joint inflammation. All of this is related and must be avoided, right? We will start right away. Go into the kneeling position, Rene. And then take a chair next to you so that you can hold onto it with your right hand. And now you step with your left leg, you place it in front. Is this my right? Yes, I mean the right one. That's absolutely correct, I mean the right one. Stay in the position, just stay normal for now. Stand with your foot a little further forward. So you have a right angle here. And now, very, very important, now you lift your pelvis. By pulling in the navel and lifting the pelvis, you lift the pubic bone, and then you already notice it starts to pull. From here to here? From here to there. Wonderful, that's exactly what we need. Pull in your stomach. That is tilting the hip just a little bit. Yes, you tilt your hip up, and now you slowly move forward with the tilted hip. Look, with the groin, let me be more specific. The left groin must always come further forward. Can I press it immediately? Yes, but well, if you can hold on to it. With the chair, it's always quite good, as you can balance yourself a bit so there is no pressure. You must make sure not to arch your back. You must keep your lower back straight. And that is the trick with this exercise. It goes directly to the hip flexor and also affects this other muscle. You must not give in. You must stay straight in the back. You must keep your back straight. The abdomen doesn't go forward, but the groin goes forward. Super exhausting, super exhausting. Practice makes perfection. Yes, if you do it repeatedly, it becomes easier. Also to you. You just have to do it every now and then. No one's having fun, right? If you have this much time here, you should probably do it like that, but whatever. And pull in your stomach. Yes, belly fat gone. Sorry, just a little joke. No fun at all. That was your t-shirt. That was your t-shirt. Of course. Yes, really? Okay, so slowly forward. Beautifully retract. And then you notice the stretching is noticeable here. And the same on the other side. And then a lot of tension is already released. Because now we are lengthening the hip flexor, which practically pulls in the lordosis first. When this force is gone, a little bit of it is already gone. Second exercise is coming soon. And for that, you lie on your stomach. But that is just the beginning. You now need either our Medi Roller or two, three books that you place under your left knee. Under the left knee. Place under the left knee. Exactly. And back into the prone position. And the purpose of this elevation is that when your groin rests down, your leg is already slightly hyperextended in the hip joint. Number two, you need something to pull your foot towards your buttocks. Reach back, Rene. Most people do not reach it. You have also gone into flexion here. What does that mean? That means you should have actually stayed with the groin down. Look, relax your leg. Now go down here, correctly with the groin against the ground, and now keep your groin on the ground. I believe you might even make it. But many people cannot reach their foot without tilting up this part. And that is the biggest mistake that can happen. You must not do that. Normally, I would recommend using our stretching strap or a belt. And press down your groin now. 
And only when the groin is pushed down, then you start to pull. And then you notice, pull further. And then you notice it pulls significantly. And now I will give you another trick. Let it go. Take your hand like that. And now simply take the loop in your thumb. So? No, with your thumb, more like that, exactly. Yes, and down with it. And then you work your way forward with your hand by pulling the hand forward with your fingertips. And this is a wonderful opportunity. And that also pulls in like crazy. That pulls over the front of the thighs. You are like a bell in that position. I can see that, right? But there are people who can only come maybe this far. And then it's over. Stay down, stay down. And then it's over. And here they continue to work their way in deeper and deeper. And you do that on both sides. Always two to two and a half minutes. Increase gradually, escalate. And then you will be surprised by what happens to your lordosis. Relatively fast. But now it's all about strengthening. If you want information about the stretching strap or information about the fascia roller. Click here. And now we move on to strengthening. To strengthen and align, please lie on your back. Turn to the left. Otherwise, you will have a problem with your microphone. Oh, I see, exactly. Okay? Legs first positioned up. That is correct. Keep the legs elevated. Head down. This is a hardcore exercise. If you do them regularly, you'll be amazed on how effectively you'll get rid of your lordosis and for a straight posture. First, pull your chin down. As far as it goes, pull your chin down really strongly. Like you don't have a chin anymore. That is the very best. The cervical spine must be as close to the ground as possible. And now hold it. And now you pull. Down your lumbar spine area. Is this my spine, you mean? There you have a spine. So the lumbar spine. Here is also a spine. And there is a spine. And there is a spine. But that is the lumbar spine. I understand. Pull down nicely. And then you notice when you pull down here, then you actually want to go up there. And now this is the strengthening. This is a proper strength training. This is a strength training that also stretches at the same time. What is too short. So down here and down there. This innervation is the problem. Both at the same time. But it requires practice. That will go quickly because the wires are all in place. They just need to be supplied with information. You slowly pull your knees further down and remember not to lift here. Yes, I have to pay attention to it. Stay down and make the legs longer and longer. Always longer. I am not multitasking. I always lift that part up. Stay down here. Stay down here. Here below. And down there. Um. Here it must be adjusted. For some people, the, the hip flexor is so short that already here at this angle it starts to pull in the back. And if you now go further down, it goes back into hyperlordosis, into the hollow of the back. And then you have to work exactly at that point. And every day it will go a little more because the muscle gives way. But the muscles that pull back, that almost pull, that counteract, practically want to stay in that exaggerated hyperextension, in the exaggerated lordosis. They then become longer and give way until it has a normal double S curve again. Okay, but for me, what is the most important? The chin, the tension, the spine stays on the ground or the very bottom? Everything is important. But the order is important. Everything is equally important, but in the sequence, chin down, lower back down, and knees down. And then when everything is down, the strength is tripled. Here the force is increased. Here it is increased. Um, and even more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And then go out again and relax. Take a deep breath. 